Hello, I'm Bernadette Brady and welcome to week three of the research methods of the uh, MA in Cultural Astronomy and Astrology at Trinity St. David in uh, University of Wales. This is week three, which is actually listed as topic four on the Moodle page. And what we focus on this week is interviews and reflectivity. And it's a very, this is another major tool that you use in working with qualitative research work in terms of you talk to people. And there's different ways you talk to people. You can talk to people in a structured way in terms of a set questions you ask them. You can talk to them in what's called a semi-structured way in terms of you have some questions you want them to address but you're going to let them roam around. Or you can just hang out with people and listen to what they're talking about. So in a sense, you can do a, just a general conversation, a chat to actually see if uh, what people are understanding and thinking about. And there's all different pros and cons for the different ways of actually interviewing people. And we spend two weeks talking about interviews because it's such an important topic. But also what we parallel in interviews with, with this week is reflectivity, which is interviewing yourself. So asking yourself how you feel about certain things because our own biases our own orientation, we can be quite unconscious of it, but if we actually reflect on how we're thinking, how we're feeling, etc., they can ask, they can orientate or change the sort of sorts of questions that we ask people or how we present ourselves to people, or the general way that we'll just put the energy into the conversation. So reflectivity is an important theme of this week's lectures. So... There's a, a, a bit to be reading and a bit to be thinking about. Um, here we've got reading from Bell and Badcock and Silverman once again. But also what we've got is various research papers. Here we've got Bayer and Durant um, looking at belief in astrology. And, and one gets a sense that uh, you can understand where they're coming from because they're looking at Adorno's work and basically looking to test if Adorno's work, which is the only people who support astrology are marginalised or uneducated or, or disadvantaged in some way. They're sort of almost establishing that at the beginning as an, as an assumed position and then moving forward from there. So in a sense their paper makes us ask the question about their reflectivity. Where are they coming from? Um, a lovely paper written 1919 a fair way back, Superstitious Belief Among College Students from Edmund um, Coughlin. So this is not necessarily talking about astrology, but it's talking about the fact that students, educated people, uh, can actually have a different set of beliefs. And it's an interesting paper because you can take that paper reporting on the state of play of people's minds of students in 1919, and you could run it again almost 100 years later. And that could be very interesting because you might find that there's no shift at all, which is an interesting comment. Then there's a paper by Gunsberg on how do astrologers read charts. And in that paper, Gunsberg interviewed astrologers, not their techniques for how they read charts, but what happened inside their head. So Gunsberg is pushing the astrologers into a reflective position and asking them to reflect on the inner processes of when they are pulling together different concepts. So it's an interesting week. A lot to think about and things that you can pull into your own research project. So more reading and more interesting papers and more interesting thoughts. Okay, bye-bye from me.